Now for today, we're going to be dealing with exterior angles, so the angles on the outside. Now, the angles on the outside, what I mean with that is like, let's take a look at number seven. It says find a measure of one exterior angle in each regular polygon. Now, what that angle on the outside means is imagine that I was to extend each of my sides. If I was to go here, if I was to extend each of my sides, I'm looking at those angles outside, right? We call that X your angle. Now, the X your angles, in a way, they're not that as fun as the interior angles. The angles on the outside, they will always, always add up to 360. It doesn't matter how many we have. So I will never ask you, find a me the, how much the angles on the outside add up to, because that's such an easy question. Right? They always add up to 360. Now here, the question is, find the measure of one exterior angle. So it would be nice if we knew how many we have. I'm gonna say n is equal to five because I have five of them. I know all of them combined is 360. My question is, how much is one of them? So I'm gonna go 360 divided by five. If I have a decimal, it says here, round your answer to the nearest tenth. So round your answer to one decimal place. Now 360 divided by five is 72. So each of my angles here is 72. I'm using the word, the phrase regular polygon. Regular mean, regular polygon means all the angles are equal. They look the same, they are equal. Now let's take a look at number eight. Again, what I mean with exterior angle is if I was to extend the sides, you see the angles outside. Now, it will be nice for me. I'm just going to figure out how much sides do I have? How many sides do I have? That's how many angles I have. So I'm going to count the sides. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. What that means is that I have 11 sides and I have 11 angles. I have the exact same amount of sides are as angles. I know all of them add up to 360. So let me go 360, that's all of them, divided by 11. Now I know 360 divided by 11. In this case, I have a, a decimal. I have 32.72, but I have to round it to one decimal place. So I'm going to call this 32.7. Following that idea, let me take a look at questions 9 and 10. Now here, the angles are not regular. I give you measurements for all the angles. I'm just asking solve for x. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna add all my angles because it's the exterior angle, they always add up to 360. So let me add everything. I know when I add, I basically combine like terms. So when it comes to x, I have 5x plus 7x plus 4x plus 4x plus 9x, right? I'm just going to combine my x's for right now. And that gives me 29x. Now, let me also combine those that don't have an x. So I have 4 plus 4 plus 9 plus 1 minus 6. That gives me 12. And I know the angles on the outside, right? I added everything. It is equal to 360. The angles on the outside always add up to 360. All right, let me separate them through the equal sign. Solving for x, I want that 29x by itself. This plus 12, let me move it over as a minus 12. So I have that 29x equals 348. All right, 360 minus 12 is 348. Now to get x by itself, let me divide both sides by 29 and I get that x is equal to 12. When you type in your homework, just type in 12. You don't have to type in x equals just 12. All right, let's take a look at number 10. 
let me add everything. And I know adding basically is combining your, your like terms. So let me add the x's first. 5x plus 5x plus 4x plus 2x plus 5x plus 6x plus 4x. I'm adding all my x's and I get 31x. Now let me add everything that doesn't have an x. So I see 5 minus 6 plus 3 minus 12 minus 5 plus 3. That gives me negative 12. And I know the angles on the outside, right? I added everything. This is equal to 360. Cool. Let me separate into the equal side. I want the 31x by itself. So this minus 12, let me move it over as a plus 12. So I have 31x equals 372. To get x by itself, let me divide both sides by 31. And I want to get that x is equal to 12. There you go.